Hi, in this video, I am going to show you how you can use spec flow in an Angular project and use it with .NET Core and in Visual Studio Code. So first of all, I have opened the command prompt. Please note that I have installed .NET Core on my PC. I have also installed Visual Studio Code on my PC as well. So first of all, I am going to create a new project using the .NET command dotnet space new space n unit this is the command for creating a new n unit project using dotnet core so i'm going to hit enter here Once the project is created, we will be able to see the contents of this directory. Here you can see that a csproj file has been created and a unit test1.cs file has also been generated for us. That is the default unit test file. We can simply delete it by typing the delete command like this and if we give the directory command again, you see it is gone. The next thing which I'm going to do is to add the specflow.n unit to this n unit project. Why? Because this project already contains a reference of n unit. So now we are going to add specflow n unit into this. I will type .NET space add space package space the package name that is specflow snfr capital dot n unit n and u are capital and i will hit enter if you are wondering where is this name coming from you can check these names from n unit.org forward slash packages for example if i search here spec flow dot n unit you see i am not using the capital letters here but here is the name of the package can find the package name from here okay i'll go back to the command prompt right here and i am going to add another package here which is specflow.plus.live uh, living doc plugin i will say dot net space add space spec space specflow.plus dot living dot living doc plugin like this and i will hit enter and i will also show you how the living doc looks like once we have completed uh, the test and once we have run it okay but before that we need to create some folders which are used by the spec flow so we are going to make these directories i will say md drivers md features md hooks these are not necessary but these are good to have and md steps it is not mandatory to create these folders but it is good to have to keep your stuff separate and after that we are going to open the visual studio code and for that let me hit type the word code if you have installed the visual studio code on your machine then you can simply type code here give a space and type dot when i will do this visual studio code will launch here you see and by default on the left side it has opened the folder in from which we launch the command all right and here we don't have much stuff all we have is this project file if i click here you can see that the project file opens it contains n unit it contains n unit 3 test adapter dot net test sdk and this specflow.n unit and specflow.plus dot living doc plugin so all of this stuff is in here so i'm going to close it now and the next thing which i'm going to do is i am going to create a new file over here all right and inside of that file i am going to add a feature okay for example i am going to right click on this folder the feature folder and i will say new file okay and over here i am going to name it 
arithmetic dot feature okay and i will hit enter so i suppose that you already know the basics of gherkin i am thinking to create a course about that so if uh, you see this course sometime in future and um, you notice that there is a link in the description of this youtube video then you can follow the link and you will definitely get to the course until then i am going to put the link of my course about winamp driver test automation with apm in the the description of the video okay so any case this file has been created in dotnet code and over here i am going to create the contents of the feature which are first of all there will be a name of feature feature colon space arithmetic i think you won't enjoy if watching me type so i am going to copy paste the contents of a feature all right you know a feature is basically a set of scenarios and here is a scenario it is called number addition i will save this over here all right and then i need to add the code behind file of this uh, feature all right and that is going to go in the steps folder okay so i will right click here and i will say new file and i am going to name this so i am going to call it arithmetic step definition and i need to add the dot cs extension here as well like this okay over here we need to bring in the namespaces i'll say using an unit dot framework okay using tech talk dot tech flow and then we will have a namespace underneath which will be namespace space whatever we have named this project we can simply put the namespace over here for example you see we don't have a default namespace here uh, but in any case i am going to call it for example backflow and unit whatever dot net core dot steps okay and underneath it i am going to add a binding class like this and uh, i'm going to bring in the contents of the binding class now and i will save this file okay so please note one thing that the idea of this uh, tutorial came from another tutorial which i saw on the website of jason and gaylord and i am going to put a link of that a uh, tutorial down below okay so once we have done this much we are going to go back to the command line okay like this let me clear everything and i am going to type because we are inside this project i will just say dot net space test okay and i will hit enter all right so now you can see that there was one test found in this uh, dll file and that was executed now let me show you how we can see the live doc all right for example uh, let me place dir type dir and i will go inside the bin directory and then i will go inside the debug directory and here you will see if i type dir there is dot net core app 3.1 i will go inside of it cd net core app all right so here is the list of files which was generated by this uh, 
project and here we have the feature data dot json all right so we can use this to generate live doc so before you can run the living doc you will need to install it okay so i have already installed it but the command to do this is shown here on the documentation page dot net space tool space installs double dash global spec flow plus living doc dot cli so this is the command so i have already executed this command and spec flow living doc dot cli is already available on my laptop on my pc okay and after this i am simply going to type living doc paste path to the feature data dot json file and it is going to generate a living dot doc dot html file automatically so let me go and let me do just that i will say living doc paste feature data dot json and i will hit enter all right now i will do a directory on html dir static dot html here you see here you can see that living doc dot html has been generated so i am going to open it living doc dot html and i'm going to hit enter here it will be opened in the browser and here you can see that the features are listed okay arithmetic feature and here we have the number addition over here so if suppose we write something to the debug log over here like over here let us suppose if i come to the project and i write something i am using using system dot diagnostics dot system dot diagnostics will be enough i believe i say debug dot write line test past for example i have done this okay i will save the c sharp file again i will go back and i will close the browser i believe i have already closed it but if i haven't then still i will just close the browser over here i will save this file and i will go back to the command prompt i will clear everything over here dot net space test command again all right so total of one test file matched and now it is proceeding okay the test has passed now i'm going to go back inside the same folder again that was basically cd dot backslash bin backslash debug backslash net for app 3.1 hit enter all right and i am going to say living doc space feature data dot json because feature data dot json is generated by a test run automatically i'll hit enter okay now he can simply do a directory static dot html hit enter and i would say living dot html right here Okay. All right. So the point is that all the steps are being shown over here of this complete test uh, of this feature file, and then we have this number addition. Okay. So debug data is not being shown here. I thought it will be shown, but I was wrong. So yeah, and we have this test result summary over here. Pass test, fail test, other stuff is shown here. So this is how we generate a living doc using spec flow plus and um, we have used dot net core for this purpose so i hope you would have found this video to be useful thank you very much do subscribe to my channel do like the video share it with your friends and do check my courses on udemy i am a udemy instructor and i teach courses on udemy so please feel free to check my courses on udemy i have courses about test automation two courses about test automation for now i am working on more and uh, i have some other interesting stuff too like tcp ip socket programming udb socket programming windows service programming 
all of this stuff is already in there so do check my udemy profile as well the link to my course on udemy is given below the one which is most relevant to this video so the link is given below do click that link and at least check the the course thank you very much and have a great day bye